This pool has a hidden supercar garage underwater. It's 60 meters below the surface, and it gets so intense, only highly trained scuba divers and athletes are allowed at the bottom. This is the deepest swimming pool in the world. Welcome to Explained. But look, you can see the shopping trolley. And there's a, there's a big, the bumper from the Mercedes is right there. But I tell you what, the water's pretty warm because they keep it on 30 degrees. Dive into another world. Deep Dive Dubai is 60.2 meters below the surface. To put that into perspective, that's the length of two adult blue whales or a Boeing 777. And it smashes the previous record of 45 meters held by Poland's deep spot. It also holds 14 million liters of water. That's about the same amount of water it takes to fill six Olympic swimming pools but no one even knew this pool existed until Will Smith made the big reveal. But, you know, a friend of mine told me I had to check out this pool. There's something weird about it. Deep Dive Dubai, I'm about to go down. It took five years to construct Deep Dive Dubai and it likely cost over $20 million. But how do you even build a pool like this? Basically, the idea is to construct a pool within a pool. The first chamber is excavated and lined with concrete. This becomes the point from where the second chamber below is dug up and the process goes on. Chambers usually become smaller as you go deeper and it ends in a long dive shaft. And fun fact, the whole thing is designed to move and settle into the ground once all the water is added. So what makes this swimming pool unique besides its depth? It has an entire sunken supercar garage and city inside it. But you can't just dive in, there's a lot of preparation involved. When you arrive, all guests must have any medical conditions assessed. Then you're handed your fins and wetsuit to get changed. I'm about to dive in the world's deepest pool. And my biggest mission, first, is not to die. And the second biggest mission is to drive the Mercedes and the Bugatti that is right there. Next is the training, and this isn't so easy for beginners. I have a cramp in my foot. <laughs> oh my God. First, you learn different hand signals like, OK, stop, slow down, remember to equalise, and I have a problem. Then there's knowing what the different diving gear is for and how to use it. But the most important things to remember are always breathe, equalise the pressure in your ears and never ascend too fast. Because the sudden change in pressure is extremely dangerous and it can make your lungs pop like a balloon and even lead to sudden death in extreme cases. But before we go further, hit that like button and subscribe for more explained videos. Finally, it's time to put all that training to practice. I'm about to dive into the world's deepest pool. Wish me luck. The pool is 27 metres long and 17 metres wide. It's divided into different zones and narrows as you go lower. Snorkelers stay at the surface and divers are allowed at different depths depending on their certifications. From zero down to the 25 metre mark, there's an entire cityscape. Diving beginners can go down to about 12 metres, while divers who have basic paddy certifications are allowed down to 18 metres. In this zone, there are storefronts, streetlights, ATMs, benches, and a large tree. Divers can also sit inside a Mercedes-Benz CLK convertible or hop onto a Ducati or Harley. There's also a massive glass panel down to the 12 metre mark where divers can interact with their friends and their family in the viewing area. Then further down between the 28 and 40 metre mark is the post-apocalyptic themed city and divers with advanced paddy certification can swim till the 30 metre mark. At the 28 metre mark, there is an entire apartment. It has a living room, bedroom, kitchen, music and art room, but I'm not sure I'd want to live there. A shaft connects to the garage below at 38 metres. But this is not your average garage. It's filled with cars and motorbikes like an F1 Ferrari and a Mustang.
There are arcade games, pinball machines, a pool table and a bunch of other cool stuff. Then comes the plunge shaft, which starts at the 40 metre mark and goes all the way down to the bottom. That's around the length of a five storey building. This area is about 10 metres in diameter and features brick walls and really funky graffiti. But the plunge shaft is reserved only for the most highly qualified divers, who know how to handle the pressure at that depth. The entire experience is obviously thrilling, but is it safe? For starters, the pool has 164 lights. This helps with mood and ambient lighting, but more importantly, the wayfinding lights help divers navigate different areas of the pool and are especially helpful in the plunge shaft. Then, there are 27 speakers that can communicate messages to the divers and provides ambient music. Next, 56 underwater cameras help monitor everything that's going on inside the pool. Okay guys, I just found a station, I have no idea what is it for, so let's ask this guy. <laughs> okay. What's going on? There's a lot of buttons. Yeah, we have so many functions here. Um, this one we can talk to the divers out of the water. Are you drowning? Hello. He <laughs> heard me now? You need to press the button, but no, no. no. <laughs> And at the 6 and 21 metre mark, there are two underwater dry chambers where divers can emerge to rest or catch their breath. It's like a safety house and the, and the water. So any divers have some emergency situation, you can bring them inside here. You don't need to bring all of you to the surface. And lastly, a massive water filtration system keeps the pool's water fresh by filtering it every six hours. Outside the pool, there's a hyperbaric chamber, and this is used to treat decompression sickness and other conditions. Deep water swimming pools are not a new concept. A couple of them exist in other countries, but none of them come close to the experience of diving into the deepest pool in the world. It was great. This used to be my biggest fear like, in the entire world. And I did it! I did it! <laughs> oh my god! And I drove a Mercedes on the water, huh? Huh? And a Ducati. Oh my god. That was probably the best thing I've ever done in my life. So let us know in the comments, have you been in a deep water swimming pool? Or would you like to try it someday? Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time on Explained.